Yeah, it's been really fun just flying around with the guys again and kind of just transitioning over from spring ball. You know, we got our full staff when spring ball started. So just growing off of what we did then, changing the things we needed to change, improving the things that we needed to improve, and then just staying with the strengths that we had from then. Your position's always been pretty you know, important to this defense, but I know at Eastern Washington it was a big part of what Jeff did. And now you know, with guys like Tyreek and stuff really kind of settling into your spot, how, how have you noticed your position kind of become even, maybe even more important? Yeah, we've been, we've been getting to do you know, a lot more stuff, just moving us around, having a lot more fun. But just having those guys behind me too is really fun and just all helping each other get better, you know, extra work after practice with whoever else is playing nickel. So it's a lot of fun with those guys. What do you see is what the nickel's going to do for the defense this mm-hmm. year? How do you see the position group being utilized? Yeah, I think it's just like a, a very versatile position for us. We get to cover, we get to blitz, we get to uh, help in the run. So really just being able to do it all and having fun doing it. With, I mean, you, you kind of mentioned, I mean, obviously it, it, was, it was a key part of the defense, but you haven't always necessarily started games and stuff like that. I mean, do you, do you feel like now all of a sudden that you've been around and made enough plays and that's become a position where now it's like, all right, you know, that's going to be a vital part of it. Yeah, I mean, just whenever your number gets called, you know, for everybody on defense, there's certain packages for certain situations, certain personnel, and just being ready to go, preparing like the starter, whether you're going to be in on the first play, second play, maybe the second series, it doesn't matter, just being ready to roll. What do you like about having Tyreek in that, in that group? Obviously, he offers a little mm-hmm. bit of a different look than you do. So yeah. what's it been like having him there, you know, in, right, right there with you? Yeah, it's different. You know, everybody has their different strengths. Everybody has their different weaknesses. And just being able to work off of each other that way. He sees stuff in my game. He corrects me like, hey, I see this. Maybe try this next time. And I do the same thing for him. You know, same with Roman and whoever else is playing with us. So really just being able to feed off of each other that way has been good. You guys lost Tyler. And obviously, Jalen has, has played uh, some the last couple of years. What, what's he bring uh, to the defense? And what's it been like having him out there on a more regular basis? Yeah, just, you know, the confidence, the speed, and really just, just a new body. But... Just he's, he's ready to go. You know, he's prepared. He, last year he prepared as if he was going to be the starter for every game. So whatever situation he's put in, he just flies around, and we have a lot of fun with him out there. He's a couple of games had to you know, sub in there for Tyler the mm-hmm. last couple of years and, and really kind of didn't notice much of a difference. I mean, how, how was yeah. he, what would you guys see when he was called upon a couple of times? Yeah, we see it during the week, just him preparing, you know, like he's going to be the starter. And this Tyler helping him, him helping, helping Tyler the last couple of years. So I think him just taking more of a leadership role because he's one of the main guys now that, that Tyler's gone. So him and Avery kind of just taking control of that room, preparing like how they have been and also bringing the younger guys with them. But what's he like off the field? He's a, he's a real fun guy. Uh, you know, he's always talking smack to somebody, but it brings good energy to the locker room and we feed off of it and we love it. It just seems like he's got a good personality. Mm-hmm. Like he just, he's got like, yeah, like a little, almost a little ball of energy around him. It's yeah. Just, I mean, our whole corner room, you know, Avery is always doing something crazy, having fun, and they all just feed off of it, and it just spreads through the whole team from front to back. So, so much back on defense. What, uh, what, what have you guys kind of rallied around to try to push yourself to get better this year, and what, what's kind of the, the biggest thing you guys are emphasizing? Yeah, I mean, just day-to-day, setting our goals high. You know, we want to compare ourselves to being the best in the nation, so when we look at stats, it's a good benchmark for us, and just trying to push it to the next level from where we were last year. And that's just the kind of stuff that motivates us every day is just handling what we can in practice to do those things. What would you see from, in terms of the passing yards? You, know, you guys you mentioned stats. They, they weren't mm-hmm. great last year in terms of yeah. some of the big plays you guys gave up were not very good. What, 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 what do you guys see when that Yeah, we from? definitely see those stats and we just look at, you know, what, what was the reason for these things happening. A lot of it is easy stuff, communication, eye control, all stuff that happens before the ball is snapped. So really taking this time right now to focus on those things, executing that at the highest level, and then the rest is just read and react from there. Are there, are, are there any stats that really stuck out to you that you guys need to get better at or any ones that were good that you need to replicate? Yeah, um, you know, we, we were pretty good on third down last year. Uh, I'd say our, our red zone stats would, could be better, so that's something that we've been continuing to work on. But everything is just raising the bar from where it was last year. If it was good, if it was bad, just raising the bar even more. You mentioned Roman and Tyreek at mm-hmm. the nickel spot. What does each of them bring to the table? What's the strengths of both of those guys? Yeah, Tyreek, you know, just his length, his size. Um, Roman's a smart physical player also and um, I mean like I said it's just bouncing ideas off of each other because they might be really good at something Tyreek's good at using his length you know he could cover a lot of ground Mm -hmm. and when he sees things and goes he reacts fast so just feeding off of that Roman's real physical Mm -hmm. and uh, he's flying around playing fast right now so bouncing ideas off of them working different moves working different techniques so it's been fun. We talked to a couple of the offensive guys yesterday and uh they, they had a pretty good day of practice, I'd say, during the, during the team drills. So um, what, what are you seeing from, from that group, despite the fact they're replacing two big pieces from last year? 
Yeah, I mean, we're just competing every day. You know, they had a really good day the other day, but we also had a really good day before that. So it's when, when one team does really good, the offense does really good. Now we, we redial it back in, and we're going to come and bring our A game again. And then the same thing, we have a really good day, a really good period. You know, the first team period will go good for us. They'll come right back and just compete again. So I like, I like that uh, it's really nobody getting down ever. It's really raising each other up. So just keep getting better. What, the, what have you seen from those quarterbacks? Have they kind of uh, grown or gotten better since, since the spring? I know you're not on that side of the yeah. ball, but you get to go against them. So yeah. what, what have you kind of seen them other than? I think uh, just their decision making from being on our end, there's not a lot of free balls and bad thrown balls anymore like how there were so much in the spring. So I think it's just the guys, you know, understanding the position, understanding what's going on around them and understanding our defense also. So they know where to put the ball in. A lot of times they know where we're in, so they know where to go with the ball in those situations, which has been good. Is it 